EMT or paramedic? What should I do? What is the difference? And who is who? In this video, I'm going to answer all your questions. Check it out. Let's start with the definitions. EMT, emergency medical technician, paramedic. Para means beside, medic means doctor. The closest thing next to a doctor in the street is a paramedic. When we think about EMTs and paramedics, most of the time people are confused and they're not sure on what's the difference. They're not sure on what the similarities are. And basically, EMTs and paramedics are the same exact thing. I always say BLS before ALS. That's basic life support before advanced life support. You got to know the fundamentals, which is EMT stuff before you're able to work on the advanced stuff, which is paramedic stuff. And first of all, you need to be an EMT before you are a paramedic. It's like having your learner's permit before you go ahead and become a driver. It's like being a nurse before you go ahead and become a doctor. Basic life support is what an EMT offers. Those include but are not limited to trauma because trauma is a surgical disease. The number one transport for trauma, I mean the number one treatment for treatment for trauma is transport. Blood bleeding control with tourniquets and gauzes. That's another type of trauma call that EMTs go on. Car accidents. These types of things that you just got to grab and go. Delivering babies and things along those lines. When we talk about paramedic jobs, like for example, me putting this monitor together, we just had a patient who thought he was having a heart attack. So we had to check out the electrical activity in his heart. We had to go ahead and check his vital signs. And before that, we had a patient on a ventilator who needed a specific amount of tidal volume to be able to survive. And what am I trying to tell you? The paramedic scope of work is a little bit more advanced than the EMTs, but at the end of the day, it's all the same. So if you're asking me, what's the difference between an EMT and a paramedic? It's the scope of work. The scope of work of a paramedic, it's more advanced. We deal with the type of things I mentioned, and we also deal with people having arrhythmias or palpitations from sniffing cocaine or drinking too much caffeine or things along those lines. But either way, what we have in common is patient advocacy, ideally. What we have in common is the selfless nature of our job. So big shout out to all those EMTs and paramedics worldwide. And if you're new to the field, please understand that you're signing up to do God's work. So kudos to you. I hope this helps. Peace.